split code problem we are going to explain is going to be binary tree zigzag level order traversal this is a really popular problem and this has been asked in some of the top tier companies such as amazon bloomberg microsoft facebook apple linkedin google samsung goldman sachs and tiktok so that is why i am paying my utmost attention i highly urge you to pay your attention for this problem as well if we see that this is a lead code medium problem and also very well like problem now in this problem we are given the root of a binary tree which means a binary tree means that any single parent can have at most two children nothing more than that so, no, so now we have the root of this binary tree and now we need to return the zigzag level order traversal from its nodes values so what does a zigzag level order traversal means so first of all before understanding the zigzag level order traversal let's understand what does a level order traversal means level order traversal simply means that first we go through the first level that is level 0 then level 1 then level 2 so if we see the level order traversal first we would it go through value number 3 then second level so that is value number 9 and 20 and then uh, the third level that is 15 and 7 but since in this case the level order traversal that we were making was pretty simple we were going from left to right so we went from here we went to left to right again from here we went from left to right but in this case we are making our lives easier and we are going in the zigzag fashion because that is the current trend and zigzag fashion is that first we start over here from left to right from the root node then we go in the zigzag fashion so we go like this like this and now again we repeat the zigzag pattern and now we go from left to right again so for one level we go from left to right next uh, uh, level we go from right to left and again next level we go from left to right and we keep on repeating the same process so in this example if you see first we went through level 3 left to right this was the value second we went through the right to left so 20 and 9 so from after 3 we visited 20 and 9 and then we went through 15 and 7 15 and 7 and let's see what would be the solution for this problem okay suppose this is the input we are given now first let's see what is the level order traversal going to be first we are going to visit value number one then we are going to visit in this fashion so the value is going to be 3 and 2 then again from this fashion so value is going to be 4 5 6 and then again from this fashion so the 8 and 7 this is going to be the answer for sure we already know that but how we are going to come up with the answer in order to come up with the zigzag level first we need to go through the simple level how to go through simple level order traversal well for what we are doing in a simple level order traversal is that we are iterating the parent then we are iterating its child before iterating its grandchild so in this case first we are going to it uh, we are at this place we are going to uh, iterate over its child after iterating both children we are going to iterate its grandchildren or the children of these children so first we would be uh, covering this level then after covering this level we would be going through the children of these nodes and so going in this fashion and again repeating the same process with this one and this can be achieved using breadth first search because it's pretty simple to do and this is how breadth uh, how traversal in done is done in trees using breadth first search and that that is a level order traversal so even in this case we are going to use the breadth first search to run in a simple level but how do we use breadth first search well from our experience we know that in order to use breadth first search we need two items we need a queue and we need a visited hash set but the thing is we only need visited hash set in a graph kind of a problem where there is an issue of us running in an infinite loop there is no issue of us running in an infinite loop inside a tree so we are not concerned about using a graph in this case we are only going to use a queue and currently i am just showing you how to do a level order traversal and then we will do zigzag level order traversal so first let's just see the level order traversal for that we are first of all going to start at the root position and we are going to populate that value inside our queue so this is currently value number one now we are going to visit the children of one before visiting the grandchildren of one this is the whole logic of the bfs 
that we are going to visit the children before visiting the grandchildren so who are the children obviously 2 and 3 again we are going to add values 2 and 3 here because it has two children and we are going to mark them now we visited all the children of value number 1 so we are going to pop value number 1 out and we are going to put it in the answer that we traverse this part already and now we only have values 2 and 3 inside the input now again for 2 and 3 uh, 2 has children that we haven't iterated over so who are the children of 2 4 and 5 mark them here and same way get uh, get rid of 2 so 2 has been taken out and now currently the entries are 3 4 and 5 inside our queue 3 4 and 5 again 3 can be kicked out before, by adding 6 at the end of the queue we added 6 at the end of the queue awesome now 3 is also out currently the entries are 4 5 and 6 now even for the values 4 5 and 6 starting at position number 4 it does not have any child so 4 can be kicked out without any repercussion 5 currently has a child 7 so adding 7 at the end and getting rid of 5 uh, so we can put 5 over here again values are 6 and 7 in place again for value number 6 it has a child called 8 adding 8 in the end and getting rid of 6 and now after that it there are only two values left 7 and 8 currently 7 does not have a child so we can get 7 out and also 8 does not have a child so we can also get 8 out and this would be the solution but in this problem what we did is we went in the uh, normal level order traversal not the zigzag level order traversal so let's see how can we make zigzag level order traversal possible currently what the concept we are using inside the queue is currently we are using the first in first out principle that gave us the level order traversal but what happens is that when we move from left to right this concept is absolutely true that we can get uh, we can have like first in first out and that would give us the proper level order traversal but when it comes to reversing imagine that in this case rather than getting two since two was already inside the loop before value number three if we pop three out before two then we would have been able to accomplish our mission so since in this case we are going in the zigzag fashion remember zigzag fashion is going to be like this where one and on one iteration we are moving from left to right next iteration we are moving from right to left and again for the next iteration iteration we would move from left to right and we would keep on repeating in the alternate fashion till we reach to the or to all the nodes inside the given input so now let's see that what are some of the adjustments we can make to make our life so much more easier and fix this issue that we were having uh, in the level order traversal the solution is quite simple and the solution is that whenever we have to find from left to right we can use the concept of first in first out so this first in first out is going to use on these two occasions but when we need to move in the reverse order or right to left in this case we will have to use the concept of last in first out because logically what was happening in this case is that logically we were traversing in last in uh, sorry left to right for every single one of them in the level order traversal so typically we were going like two and three but imagine since three was last added if we took the last in first to approach then inside the solution we would have values such as this one so one is following fifo first in first out so one was added first and one was removed first but for this particular position we are using the concept of last in first out so even though two was in the queue before value number three we are going to have three that was the last value come out before the value of two so one three and two such like this again we are going to use first in first out for this particular uh, level so the solution is going to be four five six that is pretty simple but for these two again we are going to use lefo principle and that is going to give us the answer of eight and seven now if we see this sequence one three two four five six eight seven this matches with the original answer we wrote at the beginning one three two four five six eight seven and this is the whole solution 
सो लेट मी क्लीन द सप अबेट वॉक यू थ्रू माय सोल्यूशन वेर वी आर सिंपली अरेंजिंग द वे वी आर एंटरिंग द वैल्यूज इन साइड द की इन साइड द क्यू एंड पॉपिंग द वैल्यू आउट ऑफ द क्यू ओके सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अवर क्यू वी आर गोइंग टू एड ऑल दी एंट्रीज एंड द ओनली सिंपल थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वेन एवर वी हैव टू मूव फ्रॉम राइट टू लेफ्ट वी आर गोइंग टू पॉप द वैल्यू एट दी फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ द क्यू रादर दैन पॉपिंग फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द क्यू बिकॉज वी आर फ्लिपिंग बिटवीन फीफो एंड लीफो प्रिंसिपल एंड दी वन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज केपेबल टू डू दिस इज एक्चुअली अ डी क्यू डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इन लाइक बोथ जावा एंड पाइथन लैंग्वेजेस सो यू कैन यूज ईदर वन ऑफ दैम ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट इट रेटिंग स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वैल्यू नंबर वन वन इज प्लेस हियर करंटली वन हैज टू चाइल्ड टू एंड थ्री सो वी आर गोइंग टू मार्क टू एंड थ्री इन दिस पोजिशन करंटली फॉर वन वी आर रिटरेटिंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू गेट द लास्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट सो वन वुड कम आउट now the values are located as 2 and 3 uh, even for 2 and 3 currently we need to get them out in the zigzag fashion or right to left fashion so for that first we are going to pop it from the end but before popping it from the end we will first add the children of 2 and 3 so the child of 2 is 4 5 so let's add 4 5 here and child of 3 is 6 let's add 6 here after doing that we are going to pop the out first and then we are going to pop two out first so 3 and 2 has been out because 3 was value before 2 and again for 4 5 6 we need to do the same thing but we need to do in the left to right fashion so 4 5 6 are going to come out as they as themselves but before that we are going to iterate through it their children so 4 currently does not have a child so we can pop it out without any repercussion but 5 has a child the value is 7 and 6 has a child the value is 8 again we pop 5 out so popping 5 out should be simple and popping 6 out should be simple as well because we already took care of them but for value 7 and 8 again we are moving in the right to left direction so last in value 8 is going to come out first before 7 coming out and in the end we would not have any values inside our queue which means we can get rid of it and now you see the traversal is being done in the level order and also in the zigzag fashion and that is the most important fact and this is how you solve this problem again if we try to see the time and space complexity the time complexity is going to be big o of v plus e or vertices plus edges or nodes plus edges because we are using our bfs and space complexity since in order to use the bfs we will have to use a queue the space complexity is going to be big o of v or the number of uh, nodes or number of vertices inside our given tree and this is the whole solution let's see the coding solution for binary tree zigzag level order traversal so first of all for this one we are given the method that to return a list of list uh, that contains the zigzag level order traversal of the given input uh, tree and as a input we are given the root node so first of all we are going to check for the edge case that if the given root node is null we can return an empty new array list immediately if that is not the case first we are going to initialize the array list inside this array list first for the first node we are going to add the, add the root node and uh, we are going to add a null node as well and we are also going to use a new a uh, tree node linked list to iterate over the given input tree now we are going to mark the level list because every single level contain is going to contain a different set of answers and we are going to use this boolean parameter to keep track that whether we need to traverse from left to right or right to left so is order left is initially set to true which means currently at the beginning we are moving from left to right uh, now inside the while loop we are going to do our bfs function where if this given boolean is order left is true which means we are going to use the last in first out and add or uh, add all the elements inside the level if that is not the case then we are going to use the first in first out and also add all the values that are present on that particular level after adding all the levels we are simply going to populate our result list based on the level list we have created and then we are going to initialize a new level list for the next level and again we are going to change the ordering from left to right to right to left for the next level 
and after repeating the same process again even for the next level the ordering is going to be again left to right in the end after this bfs operation doing loop ends we would have our result linked list populated and we would be able to return that as the answer so let's try to run the code seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit the code and our code runs pretty efficiently compared to a lot of other solutions and don't worry i am going to post the solution of this code inside my github repository that is open to public so everyone would be able to see that